Anyang! Welcome to the December Snack Fever unboxing. This is the last Snack Fever unboxing of 2016 and my last unboxing of the year, period. We had a great run, but I think 2017 might bring better snacks. So skipping any formalities, if you want to subscribe to Snack Fever, I put the link down there. Any snacks that I try in this video will also be in links down below if I can find them. And yeah, this is what our December card looks like. So the snack hack in this month's box is a cup of corn cream soup plus corn chips equals creamy and crunchy. So you take the soup, you make the soup, put it in a bowl, and then on top of it, you put corn chips. Again, I'm assuming the soup and or the corn chips are uh, snacks included in this month's box. And on the back, it says, wishing our Snack Fever family a wonderful holiday season. And it has the Korean word of the month. This word is Nunsaram, which means snowman. So Nunsaram, Nunsaram. The example sentence is, do you want to build a snowman? And in Korean, that is, Gachi Nunsaram Mandere. And on the very back of this is a picture. This is Happy Holidays from Snack Fever, and it's a picture of the Snack Fever family. Also in this box are more um, lesson cards for Hangul from the Egg Bun app that I spoke about the last box. This one has consonants, double consonants, and vowels on the back. So it has this, this, and it has uh, a download link for you to get the Egg Bun app. And it also has words, like a word list and a word test. It's just to help you improve your Korean skills. So this one has how to say to design, to download, to update, to lead, to interview, etc., etc. It's got five. I can count nine. Um, nine new words for you to learn, and then um, space for you to write it on the side. There is also a Christmas sticker in this box, which is one of the cutest things I've ever seen in my entire life. And finally, there is the booklet that tells us all of our snacks. This says, Snack Fever wishes you a Merry Christmas. Follow, share, and post. And I got the original box. I'm not going to look at the snacks that I got, but this box contains 10 items. So let's dig in. The first thing in our bag is chicken macho, choco macchiato flavor. Chocolate macchiato flavored puff chips for any snacking occasion. We're prepping for the year of the rooster. So 2017 is the year of the rooster. This is big. This is what they look like. Oh my God. This is so good. This is so good. Mmm, it's like a corn chip, but like a popcorn with chocolate. I don't know how to describe it. I don't know. Sipper is a great month. This is a mmm. It tastes like puffed corn covered in chocolate and laced with heaven. I'm not even that big of a chocolate fan, and that is. Next up, we have this peach jelly. Uh, this is a brand new sweet and refreshing peach flavored jelly from our friends at High Tai. It comes in this big package, but then they're individually wrapped. And it feels gooey. And on it is like a, a picture of a monkey with a straw going into a peach. It's like you're drinking peach juice. It smells like peach. It literally looks like Capri Sun in a bag. Mm. It is jelly. It really tastes like peach and it's really good, but it is super sweet. Like super sweet. Mm. It's like a block of jelly, peach flavored jelly in peach juice. 
so you have to like bite pieces of the jelly off. Super sweet, but it's really good. But I know I'm gonna be thirsty. <laughs> good. I wouldn't eat it too often. According to the package, it says this has vitamin C. So that's a plus and a negative. <laughs> vitamin C. All right. Next up is this candy that looks suspect. This is green tea candy. Um, can't have enough of that green tea flavor? Well, take it with you in candy form. Looks good. Looks like a little dollop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I definitely taste the, the green tea. It's there. But it's not disgusting. Like, sometimes green tea could be bit really bitter to me. But I guess because it's in candy form, it's really good. It tastes like they mixed it with ginseng. This is good. Next up, we have Mini Crunky Double Crunch Bar. Looks like this. This is the Mini Crunky Double Crunch Bar. It says, this chocolate bar isn't just crunchy, it's crunky. Which I'm assuming is my high intelligence is just a hybrid of crunchy and chunky. Looks like this. Definitely crunchy. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This is what it looks like after you bite it. It looks like it has peanuts and wafer. I'm not sure what that filling is. It's got caramel. I don't know what's in it, but I can tell you it's amazing. That is really good. There's a lot of chocolate in this box. Next up, we have Mai Chu or my chew. This is the ultimate classic fruity chewy taffy. Each box will contain one of four flavors. Apple, grape, peach, or strawberry. I got strawberry, which is great because that's like my favorite. I feel like I've had my chew before. But I think it was a different flavor. I don't think it was the strawberry. That's what it looks like. I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna love this. You can never go wrong with my chew. Never. Next, we have High Thai Ace. I'm assuming these are crackers. Yep, Ace Cracker. This is a timeless Korean cracker with a light, savory finish. So, I'm just gonna try one. Oh, why? Now, somebody tell me, why does it make sense to open the package here? Like, not the, not the ends, no. Smack in the middle of the freaking Korea. I'm gonna be so mad if this is not resealable. It's not re- You rip it open like this and then your crackers are just left to air to go stale. This is what it looks like. Straight up cracker. I'm popping this whole thing in my mouth. Don't judge me. Hmm. If Ritz cracker upgraded and glammed up, had a glow up, it would be those crackers. That's that's the Ritz Glow Up. Ace. Ace. Ace is the Ritz Glow Up. Next up we have Home Run Ball. Home Run Ball. This is the Home Run Ball. A flavor of cream cheese. Cream cheese. Um, this is the snack version of the cream puff filled with smooth and rich cream cheese. So, it's like a cream puff in ball form. I'm just gonna try one. Oh, and it looks like a cream puff. It's like a very light, airy ball. It doesn't taste so much like cream cheese as it does vanilla, like a vanilla icing or vanilla filling. Um, but it's very soft. The pastry is very buttery. It would probably taste better if it was like fresh baked, but for what it is, this is good. It's a good little snack. Um, it's not too sweet. And it literally dissolves in your mouth. I'm making a whole lot of noise, I'm sorry. It literally dissolves in your mouth as soon as you put it in there, so it's good. It's like a 
cream cheese and vanilla melty kind of just explosion in your mouth it's really good it's good and for the last food item I'm going to do <sighs> so sad this is the ABC Choco or ABC chocolate this is individually wrapped chocolate alphabet letters and numbers educational and delicious I am assuming this is for children but I'm a kid today so this is what it looks like in the package and I got the letter a literally just a block of chocolate like just straight up chocolate mm -hmm. mm. just like those candies you carry around for when you have a craving for chocolate you don't want a lot just a little block just a little block of chocolate our drink in this one is Enfant. Well, it's probably just infant, but it sounds so cute if I... Enfant uh, banana flavored milk. It says, there are few things better in life than banana flavored milk. For the best experience, chill and enjoy. So, I've had van vanilla, banana milk before. Um, pretty sure it wasn't this brand though, because I don't, I'm not, I don't remember the name of the brand that I've had. Or have had on several occasions but it has a picture of a banana on it that's all I can tell you I'm just gonna try a little bit of this and then I'm going to put it in the fridge and drink the rest of it because I don't like warm milk but I can do this <sighs> yes you know banana milk never tastes like banana it always tastes like well it has like a gut hint of banana but to me what people consider banana flavor doesn't really taste like banana it tastes like artificial banana which actually tastes better than real banana sometimes but this is really good if you don't like bananas you will not like this if you don't like milk you will not like this actually that's a lie because I don't like milk unless it's in cereal and banana milk I will walk around and drink on the regular I actually like it more than strawberry and chocolate milk but if you're not a fan of milk, period. The final item in this box is gin ramen. Mild. For those who aren't fans of spicy ramen, rejoice. This is a mild but still tasty version of the classic gin ramen, which I'm assuming is spicier. I've never actually had gin ramen, so I'm just gonna go by the description. Um, but this isn't spicy, which means I'm probably gonna have to add spice to it myself, because I like spicy. So, I'm not going to talk about it now because, of course, I talk about ramen in the next video. So, you will not hear about Jin Ramen until the new year. So, in the last Snack Fever box, I got the uh, So Long Tongue again, uh, but I had it before. So, I said I would talk about the French Cafe mix. Now, I'm not very, very big on... Um, coffee mixes like that in the individual packets really the only coffee mix I like from the packet is Maxim and I love like love 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 Maxim especially Maxim white um but the French cafe one was not bad usually when I, uh, I get those instant mixes and they already have the milk and like the powdered milk in I have to add more because I like my coffee creamy I like it very light and sweet um, and with the French Cafe mix I didn't have to add much more milk I still had to add milk to it but I didn't have to add as much as I usually do to other instant packets uh, as for sweetness I didn't have to add sugar it was perfectly fine the way it was if you like really sweet uh, coffee you'll have to add um, if you like semi sweet um, to like just right kind of sweetness um, then the French Cafe mix is definitely something you will like didn't make a whole cup that that was the big problem I had to use both of my mixes just to make one big cup and that's probably because my mugs are like big I use big mugs so I guess if my mug was a regular size maybe I could have filled that up like three quarters of the way but I use a big mug so I used two packets um, and it was good for what it was it was good it was instant so you know it was okay I am like big on coffee so it takes a lot to impress me like Maxim 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 but the French Cafe mix was good too 
This has been my final Snack Fever unboxing for 2016. I hope that everyone has an absolutely fantastic, amazing, splendiferous, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious new year. I hope that 2017 brings you everything that you want. I hope it's a prosperous year for all of you. And I hope that this is just the beginning of a new and more wonderful chapter in everyone's life. I know I'm going to Nicaragua in January and I might film some of that. And um, I may be hitting up California in May. So there may be that. And I have something really, really, really big that I'm hoping goes through next year. And I hope that big things that you want or little things that you want or any projects or aspirations you have for 2017, I hope that this is the year. This is our year. This is the year where everything finally pulls itself together and we, you know, can make things work. <laughs> That actually sounded way, way better in my head, but you get what I'm saying. Love all of you, and I hope everyone stays safe this New Year's. That's number one. Number two, I hope you just spend time with people you love, and that it's amazing for all of you. This has been Narasa's Korea. Annyeong!